So I am on my way to go pick up some impossible burgers and I'm so freaking excited I have been wanting to get this in my kitchen for so long ever since I tasted impossible burgers like three years ago or something I have been wanting to get my hands on it so bad whereas to like I was gonna ask a restaurant to give me some but that was like nearly impossible so if you guys heard recently the impossible brand um, started selling their burger packs and patties at grocery stores so one of those groceries is Kroger which is very big in like the mid west slash south and also on the west coast they have a different brand called Rouse which is literally just Kroger but they decided to not come to Memphis they released it at 1500 stores and I swear all three in Tennessee that would be like close to me are in Nashville Nashville gets every freaking thing and it's so annoying because Memphis is literally the bomb.com and Memphis is like the best city in freaking Tennessee so I put out an ask on my Instagram story I didn't think anybody would actually like do it for me but one of my girls Jessica just happened to be in Nashville at the time so thank you so much Jessica she actually reached out to me and was like hey I'm in Nashville I can get you some I told her to get me three packs um but I saw when she sent me the screenshot I said limit two so I don't know if she actually got me three or not but we shall see what came about so I'm gonna do this little 20 minute drive um to her house and go pick this up because I am so excited guys we've got the goods oh my god oh my god I've got to show you this Jessica, thank you so freaking much. This is it, the Impossible freaking burgers! I'm so excited, I cannot believe it, that I have this in my hands. Let's go home and cook these bad boys and see what's what. All right guys, I'm back and we've got the good. So today I'm gonna be making a cheeseburger, but I also wanna make a cheeseburger pizza because I'm extra as hell. I've been so excited to try this out. So in front of me we have the new Vile Life Extra Sharp Cheddar and it really does taste like cheddar, um, really good. We also have some pickles for the burger and for the cheeseburger pizza. We have tomates, we have some Belief Vegan um, Bacon, we've got some red onions, I've got mustard and mayo. We're gonna be using the cheddar slices for the regular burgers. We also have some marinara sauce for our pizza. We've got our classic white hamburger buns and then also our ketchup. And of course we have our Impossible Foods Burger Pack. So what I'm gonna do with this is gonna use half of it to make like beef for my pizza. So I'm gonna cook it up a little bit because I worry if I put it on top of the pizza that it won't cook all the way through and that creeps me out. But then also the rest of it I'm just gonna use to make a regular burger. I'm so excited to have this in my kitchen. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. I'm so excited. I've been dying to have this. Like, no. Impossible burgers are my favorite, but they're so pricey and like buying one is not ideal because usually you're paying like $15, $16 at a restaurant for it. So that's quite annoying. Um, this is what it looks like. Super duper red. It's kind of stinky. Yay. It literally looks like ground beef or something. All I'm gonna do to this is add some salt and also some ground black pepper. And because there's so much stuff going on top of the pizza, I don't wanna like overkill. You can definitely add whatever seasonings you want. I'm just not going to because I don't wanna overdo it. All right, and that's what it looks like. All mashed up, it literally looks like ground beef. This is the closest to ground beef that I have ever seen. Um, let's go ahead and move over here so we can cook this thing up. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to let this cook up. All right, so it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and add this to it. Here's a little close up for you guys if you're interested. It literally just acts like regular ground beef. So I guess as it's cooking, you can start like crumbling it so that it can separate and won't stick all together. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it turns brown super quickly, literally just like ground beef. No other vegan meat does that. And just keep on like mixing and separating. This meat, I definitely want to try like in a lasagna because I know that it would be literally perfect in a lasagna. Like look how that browns up. It's, it's literally just like ground beef. And since I'm gonna be putting this on the pizza, I'm not gonna cook it all the way through because then it's gonna get a little bit overdone and you don't really want that. But just enough to like soak in the salt and pepper and then also to kind of brown up a bit before you 
pop it on top of your pizza. All right guys, now for our pizza sauce. Because this isn't necessarily a actual like tomato sauce pizza, we're gonna convert the marinara sauce into like, kind of like an In-N-Out burger sauce. So you're gonna add some mayo to your marinara sauce. If you find this weird, just act like it's ketchup and it's literally the same thing because it's just tomatoes. We're going to add a little bit of mustard as well. And then of course, some ketchup. All right, and just give that a good mix. You can see it turns out being kind of like an In-N-Out burger sauce, except since it has the marinara in there, it's gonna taste more like a pizza than an actual like burger. So you kind of have like the best of both worlds. And I swear to you, this smells so freaking delicious. But like with any pizza, you obviously want to start out with your sauce because that's exactly what we're gonna do. But you want to reserve some just in case you want to dip like your pizza slices into it. And then also you don't want the base to be so thick. This amount of scoop is good enough. Our next layer is obviously gonna be the cheese because you want your base to be very cheesy. I love Violife cheese because it is very similar to real cheese, like dairy cheese. Um, and so it melts way better and it just tastes so much nicer. Next up, we're gonna do our impossible meat and just make sure you spread it out nice and evenly so you have nice chunks all across your pizza as you're taking bites. All right, so next you're gonna use your tomatoes, your onions, and your pickles and just make a nice little design. I'm gonna take this one out because it's not that cute. Do as you please. I'm not the biggest tomato on my pizza kind of person, but for the love of cheeseburger, we're doing it. I'm gonna add some bacon chunks underneath as well. We're gonna do our red onions. All right, this is something that I don't know what to do with, but pickles. Um, I don't know if hot pickles are delicious, but I mean, we're gonna do it. Obviously you can wait till after if you prefer your pickles to be cold, but because I really don't know what to do with it, we're just gonna add them on there. We're gonna add a little bit of more cheese all right on top of this. I, did, I learned this recently, like you're supposed to add cheese on top of the other ingredients again, just to make it you know, actually look like pizza. Because if not, then your meat and your veggies just stick out like weirdos. So, I almost forgot about this, but the last step is obviously to oil your crust and add some sesame seeds because I totally forgot that the best burgers have sesame seeds on them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Might be a little too much, sorry. And there you have a cheeseburger pizza. Okay, so next up, we're just gonna form our patty. And so I guess I will tell you guys what this feels like when you touch it. I mean, yeah, it literally just feels like ground beef. Oh, I have this much left. So I mean, it gives you quite a bit to make, let's say like four burgers in one little pack. I know that they have the actual like single burger packs either coming out very soon or at some stores already. But for now, all you're able to find in most of the grocery stores are these little ground beef packs. I wanna say that this is also $8.99, so very similar to the same one from Beyond Meat, except to me, it tastes more like actual ground beef. So here's our patty. I'm gonna make one more. And literally, like, all I do to this is put it in the pan with some salt and pepper, like you would normally find at most fast food joints. Literally just season your um, ground beef with some salt and pepper over top so that when it sautés on the pan, it's cooking and browning really nicely. And feel free to add, like, minced onions in there, garlic, all types of seasoning. But because I want to also just taste, like, the regular Impossible Burger to see if it tastes like the restaurant quality, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I have my two patties here, and literally I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the pan. That was a little anticlimactic because it wasn't hot enough to actually saute, but um, I'm gonna let it sit there while it gets hot and browns up and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just cook this up, decorate everything, and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit so we can do this full on taste test. So uh, let's get into this little montage right now.
finally do our taste test portion of this video and I'm so excited this is what I've waited for all weekend and I literally just made two cheeseburgers and a cheeseburger pizza this pizza though let me tell you it looks freaking beautiful that this looks literally like a pretzel with like seeds on it I mean it's gorgeous I was gonna put the sauce on top of it but I'm like scared to like ruin it especially since I already have enough sauce on there and then the burgers the burgers are pretty I will say when I was cooking up though like it smelled like a dog food and I don't know why it might be because it was like too thought out for too long um so that had me a little bit worried and I hope I don't get any food poisoning anything for the YouTube anyway so I have here my ketchup I'm gonna put it on top of my burger right here and we're gonna taste the burger first because literally that pizza looks too good and I mean burger but you can get a burger anywhere but like a cheeseburger pizza that is that's hard to come by especially a vegan one so Here's our burger close up. Look how freaking gorgeous that looks. Let me tell you, when I discovered Impossible Burgers, like there was no other burger that compared and I still to this day do not think there is any other burger that compares. All right, in the moment of truth, let's just go ahead and bite into this. This is gonna like be a mess because I put so much ketchup on it. But I mean, I'm excited. Also the fact that you can pay $8.99 now and make one, two decent sized burgers and a whole pizza. That means you can literally make four burgers out of one pack versus before you were paying $16. I've, I've literally paid $20 in Vegas for a Beyond Burger with no french fries. Price comparison, come on now. All right, and next up we have our pizza. I've gone ahead and sliced it up, but look at this. If you guys want this pizza dough recipe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because it's a good one. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more ketchup on top though because I'm a mess. I bet you, you guys think that I'm lying every time I cook food, but I swear to you, until you try it, you never know. This tastes like a cheeseburger with some In-N-Out sauce. It's so good. I have never eaten a cheeseburger pizza before, but I think it's a great idea. And everything just comes together really well. It's literally just like eating a open face burger. Not that different. Cheers, enjoy. This is the number one video right here. This, this video right here. Literally, you're not gonna find anything more delicious on my channel than this. I give this everything a 10 out of 10. I love that they now sell Impossible Foods burgers at the grocery store. You can find it really close to you. Hopefully they'll be in more stores very soon. But if you don't mind driving three hours or have a friend that lives very close to a store that's selling it and mails it to you, it's a win-win. I also think that the price point is kind of fair. It's $8.99. More expensive than you would buy ground beef for though, but for a vegan product I think it's fairly priced, especially something this good. Like this is like restaurant quality vegan food and you can literally form it into whatever you want. Meatballs, you can make lasagna meats, you can do um, big ziti, like literally everything you wanted to do prior going vegan, you can do it now and have that same similar taste that you would in ground beef. But it's vegan, it's not harming anybody, and it's equally as delicious. Also, if you have family that's like not vegan and you want them to try vegan food and they've been like very wary to like try it, this is the way to go. This is literally the way to go. Last thing that I'm gonna say is literally that I'm so happy that they sell it like not at only Whole Foods, like now they sell it like at Kroger and those kind of grocery stores because I think those are more accessible to everybody. And so now when vegans who don't live near Whole Foods or have access to a Whole Foods or those fancy supermarkets can now buy it for an affordable price locally and it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now because I've spoken too much and my food is getting cold. I'm gonna catch you guys later. If you guys loved this video, make sure you guys hit that love button. Also be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, join the familia, and also follow me on all my social medias. It's always the same, at La Comida Jeremy, lacomidajeremy.com. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, los quiero mucho, y hablamos ahorita. Chau!